Sorry there's no jelly car challenges today. There will be more to come, but honestly what there's not going to be much to come till something's done about it is sport mode races, special Titan or clips or whatever. Because I've touched on this soon after the game came out, that there were a lot of flaws in the sport mode races and some of those flaws have sort of been fixed. But as time has went by, some flaws got fixed, but then more flaws have been added in from release as well. PD has done some things to fix some flaws from release and then some that were added along the way. But honestly, at this point, I just feel like it's to the point of there's just too many to continue right now. There's some of just the usual stuff that still hasn't been fixed. It's been addressed quite a bit, like the delayed penalties where it's five seconds even before it tells you there is a penalty. Which seems like a pretty easy fix, and they still haven't done that. There's the thing where you try to connect online, and either it displays an AT type that's not compatible with the host. Which has been in a lot of games, I'm not really sure where the fault is there. But this doesn't even attempt to figure out what NAT type it is. There's the thing where deliveries won't upload. They haven't even fixed that yet either. Literally no explanation and deliveries don't upload. But then this is where I draw the line, honestly. Throughout every Gran Turismo game that's had online, the servers I don't think have ever necessarily been called the best in the world. But honestly, it seems like GT6 onwards, people have been downright complaining about the server. Like, it seems like, for the most part, people consider GT5 servers to be acceptable. Nowadays, though, not so much. And, well, this is a pretty good example. That's actually a relatively new thing, too. Disconnected from the server, that's not really the new thing, necessarily. I'll just let this play out, the clip. And then it doesn't so connected to the network, which sort of makes sense. This means it wasn't just a flaw in that daily race, it was a flaw in something else too, because I'm not connected to anything right now. And then finally it doesn't sell the thing, which proves I'm not connected to anything. The thing that's different about this is apparently the general consensus was everything was still online when this happened. Like, this was a massive outage. But then, because I've sort of had this happen before, it kind of depends on the circumstance of what it truly is. But when I troubleshooted manually, I went to test internet connection or whatever, and apparently I wasn't connected to online. So then, I went to the box. Where, like, you check all that. The the main, just internet box. I don't really know the name of it, but the, the one that has to be running to have online work at a house. So I went to that. It was running. It was perfectly fine. Everything was plugged in. So then I went back to the PlayStation 4 itself. Everything was plugged in there. And yet I was still offline. Everything else, everywhere else seemed to be online. And yet I, for some reason, I literally don't know about, was offline. All the rest of electricity worked. Even the rest of the online in the house worked. But for whatever reason, this particular thing was out and nothing else. And this isn't the bad part. The bad part that I didn't even actually get footage of because I had no idea what was going to happen is I lost 1,500-ish... Sportsman separating, or not sportsman, or driver rating points, which is the equivalent of realistically 10 races winning over and over. 10 straight wins equals about 1,500 once you're at about 60,000, it is where I'm at now. And as for sportsman separating points, which I probably said said first because this is the stupidest issue, I even lost sportsman separating points. And in that particular race, I mean, I didn't sew the whole thing, but I actually have the whole thing if y'all don't believe me and I can upload it. I was completely clean throughout the whole race. I didn't even touch another car the whole time. I still lost five sportsman separating points. As well as driver rating. I guess driver rating can be sort of kind of realistic if it was my own fault, but I troubleshooted everything and it didn't seem to be my own fault. But yet I still lose driver rating points. 
and sportsmen separating points who were literally doing nothing wrong. And this isn't even really the worst part. After that, about 45 minutes later, I think it was, everything went back to normal. I got online and stayed online. But then that's when I figured out I lost our writing and sportsman separating, so at that point I didn't really feel like doing much more. But I did want to test something. Because I lost driver rating and sportsman separating, and I knew I've kind of always been on the cusp of getting in and out, but today, the day that this happened was a particularly good day for races I was in. So before that happened, I did win about 10 straight races in sport mode, so it kind of equaled out. I was a net gain of about 200 driver rating points for that day, even after the loss. So I went to do the the FIA race, which this one in particular was the top 24 superstars race. So, I wanted to see if I'd get in that. Somehow or another, even in days before where I'm like 23rd after a lot of grinding over winter break and stuff, I was 11th, which that in and of itself raises some questions. How am I the 11th highest in all of the Americas after getting screwed over by the game? Something tells me that means a lot of people are getting tired of sport mode, or a lot of people are getting screwed over in some way. So then, that's really all I wanted to do. I wanted to test that. I, d I didn't practice for that race. I just wanted to see how that would work. So then I left before any of the qualifiers entered that, just because I didn't want to get in anybody's way. I knew that I wasn't really prepared to do a race against supposedly the best, even though somehow I still haven't. And then after that, before even any race started, before any, even any cars were on a track even doing qualifying, I still lost driver rating and sportsman separating from that. Why would they penalize you if it's not your own fault? And then why would they penalize you before it's actually even anything that counts? They penalized me for internet going out when I had no control over it, and then they penalized me for leaving before anything actually even starts. That's two strikes right there, and honestly, the third strike is just all the miscellaneous things that is affecting everyone and not just me. There's still the grip glitch that doesn't seem like it's been fully fixed. There's still just a penalty system that's always been kind of iffy. Penalties including with the hitting each other and the cutting penalties. Just, that's the last straw for a while. They need to do something to fix stuff. The 112 update fixed, like, physics and things, but it didn't actually seem like it fixed how things were actually ran. It fixed how the cars reacted and stuff, but how the mode itself worked, it didn't seem like it helped any. Maybe it did something to the grip glitch, but I've heard kind of some way they have, some way they haven't. It didn't seem like it definitively fixed it, and if anything, it made some aspects even worse. So, yeah, I'm done for a while. I mean, I know these PD Logic videos get dislikes and all that. I know people are going to be sarcastically bye-bye and all that. I know how this works. I've seen it. I've been a part of it. I've been on both ends. But for now, I'm the part of it or whatever. I am not saying I'm completely done with sport mode races. But I'm very near the 322 race mark. I'm about like 310 races or something. So once I get to that by default, I'm not going to do as much just because I don't really need to. Till maybe summer or so. I'll probably be more summer vacation because I have more time then. But that's a while away. For now, I'm done completely till something's fixed. There's going to be another update this month by default because they said there would be the main big update. So maybe that or do something. I don't know, but... This is a standard right here, ridiculous. I get disconnected from online for quite literally no cause that I can find after troubleshooting manually, physically going to the box and looking at it, and then troubleshooting the software by doing the internet connects and test and te looking at PlayStation Network and all that. The software seemed to be working, the hardware seemed to be working, and yet I'm still the one that gets screwed over. And then later I do another test, and I get screwed over not even really doing anything wrong. I'm just not having that. I know this is probably more geared towards me and I may sound egotistical or whatever for this, but it is an everyone type thing with like the grip glitz and things like that. That in and of itself I think has made quite a few people quit racing, giving that I, after I got screwed over, I was still 11th out of 24 and I 
as I've touched in other videos, I'm far from the highest, fastest person. At my best, I feel like I probably am like the 23rd out of 24 in a top 24 superstars race. Given that I was 11th after unfairly losing points, that shows that everybody's tired of this at this point. Something needs to be done. It's not just me at this point, it is everybody. Maybe different people have different reasons for being done with sport mode for now, but we need to make sure that people aren't done with sport mode completely. Sport mode is probably, I don't know the exact numbers, but I bet it's probably about half the players in the game do sport mode. I think actually according to Kudos Prime, that is pretty accurate. It is about half. You don't want to lose half your fan base, especially in a game that didn't even sell all that good. There are about three and a half million copies sold so far, give or take. The official estimates aren't out yet. GT6 was the lowest Grand Turismo that was an official game on a main console ever made, and it was six million ish. So they're barely even over half of what the worst game did. They don't want to lose another half, being barely even over a half. That's just not going to work. They need to fix something and fix it soon. I'm not done completely, but as of now. I might be done in the future, as I've said in other videos. I'm still kind of iffy of if I'm going to get GT Sport 2, especially if it's online only. I probably will get GT 7 if it's ever made, but GT Sport 2, not so much. And now not so much is even more amplified for now. If PD fixes some of this stuff, they make their servers more consistent. They make it end-all, be-all. What truly gains you points and what truly loses you points, then maybe I'll be more on board with it. But just random disconnections and random penalties for no good reason whatsoever. No, I'm not having that. And then to top it off, people randomly being able to go faster and then gaining tons of points when they don't deserve it. And then people losing tons of points when they don't deserve it. No. In all aspects, sport mode is pretty flawed in some way, shape, or form. When racing goes well, it's better than a lot of games. So I'll stick with it for that. I don't think I'm going to quite go over to Settle Course or Project Cars 2 or something like that yet. Because when game plays good, it seems to be better than them. But it's not that good that often anymore. So for now, I don't really feel like taking the risk. There's more races than not. It's pretty hot and picking annoying at this point. So I'll be back when it's good. For now, I'll do more offline stuff like the Jelly Car Challenges. I will do online in the sense of open lobbies and stuff, which means quite a bit of dirty racing. That will get special dating and stuff, but... Sport road races, yeah, not so much for now. Let's just hope the new update's a good update. That's for sure, folks. That's for sure. And that might be worth a in the future.